My name is John Pinelli, and today we're going to be talking about best investment returns. Uh, oftentimes, when people are looking for investments that are going to provide with them with the best returns, they're looking at things like stocks, um, bonds, CDs, mutual funds. They want something that's going to provide them the best return on their dollar. Um, one thing to consider when looking into um, high return investments is that they're going to carry a much higher risk than lower return investments. So if you're able to sort of stomach um, the high volatility and movement of some of these higher risk um, securities, then you are able to invest in something that's going to be um, a higher return as well. So typically stocks will provide you uh, higher returns than say bonds or CDs. Um, bonds or CDs will typically just barely beat inflation, um, but oftentimes they're secured, very secure. Um, in fact, if you're looking at CDs, they're um, insured by the FDIC. Um, going back to stocks, stocks historically have provided the highest rate of return, um, about 10% annually. Um, in recent years, it hasn't been the case with the declining markets, but uh, if you look at an historical average, uh, stocks have historically been better than um, things like CDs and money market and bonds. Uh, so that's always something to consider. Uh, mutual funds also tend to be um, slightly lower risk than, than just individual stocks, um, but, but the returns tend to be a little bit lower too, and then you get into management fees and things like that. Um, so in conclusion, something to consider when investing and looking for high returns is how much risk can you individually handle. This has been John Pinelli, Financial Representative.